But tomorrow I'm planning uh, exploring the other part of the island. I have uh, something planned uh, in terms of hiking. I'm gonna go in the middle of the island and try to um, uh, walk some mountains, do some hikes. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the last and probably the most exciting part of Madeira series, as in this episode we will take a close look at the island's nature. But before we get to that, let's recap what was covered so far. In the first episode, we went west, covering coastal line from Funchal to Santana. In the second episode, I took you on a journey along Madeira's east coast, finishing at the picturesque village of Cural das Freiras. Today, we are going into the heart of the island, covering, in my opinion, three of the most beautiful natural sites in the middle of Madeira. Before we jump into it, if you enjoy my content, please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. I would highly appreciate that. Relative to the Azores, Madeira is a fairly large island with an area of approximately 800 square kilometers. It is composed of massive cliffs hanging over the Atlantic Ocean. In order to fully enjoy its beauty, you need to utilize Madeira's great road networks by renting a car, since public transport here is reasonably limited. Madeira has an expressway road network that goes pretty much all the way around the island. These are numbered highways from VE1 to VE7, as well as VR1, which is a fast way around Funchal. The presence of modern motorways allows you to get around the island relatively quickly and, most importantly, free of charge. Because of Madeira's geological layout, the expressways are filled with tunnels, dug through mountainous terrain. There are over 100 tunnels here and driving through them can be a lot of fun. There is also a secondary network of roadways. These are more winding and often have a gradient. Something to consider when renting the car, as a small engine car is not an ideal choice here. However, overall driving through the island was a lot of fun, as you experience the true beauty of Madeira by constantly discovering breathtaking views that often come with added bonuses, like natural car wash on your way to the next exciting destination. One of such destinations was my next stop, Madeira's ancient Lorisilva forest. Sweeping across much of northern and central parts of Madeira, the world's largest remains of laurel forests not only date back thousands of years, but also somehow survived six centuries of humans' habitation. At some point, I had to drop my car and walk through the foggy and mysterious corridors of funky-looking trees to find myself in the middle of laurel wonderland. The name of this island, Madeira, actually means wood. And if you can imagine when uh, the first explorers came to the island, the Lorisilva forest was covering the entire island. And unfortunately, over the centuries, uh, the trees have been cut down and to the point where there's only 16% of the original population of the forest is left. Therefore, it was put on UNESCO World Heritage uh, list and uh, it is uh, strictly protected by the local authorities. 
it is very hard to get to. It's up in the mountains and you have to take uh, somewhat uh, broken roads. But once you get here, it's uh, like, it's indescribable. It's definitely worth a drive, definitely worth a struggle. The, the sights here, the tranquility, the air, um, you have mountains at the back. Uh, like, this is the reason why you actually love nature and this is the reason that will make you appreciate Earth so much more. Got nothing more to say. You just have to come and see it yourself. Mind blowing. Lori Silva is a precious mass of fertile woodland that today fulfills an increasingly important role in maintaining the island's hydrological balance as well as biological diversity. The densely wooded Lori Silva covers an area of approximately 15,000 hectares and contains a unique collection of plants and animals, including many endemic species. At some point, I found myself surrounded by beauty of laurel trees overlooking the Atlantic Ocean from the cliff. The fog cleared out and the sun filled the area. There it was, Loris Silva Wonderland, that put smile on my face and filled me with unforgettable positive emotions. All I wanted to do at this point is leave my stuff behind and run around, run like a child, enjoying my freedom and the disconnect from the outside world. Much of Madeira's forest is crisscrossed by a network of irrigation channels known as levadas, which carry water from the fertile north to the more arid regions on the south of the island, laboriously cut from the sturdy mountain rock to transport water to the island's plantations, the levadas date back to Madeira's very first settlers in the 15th century. Today, the levadas still play an essential role in cultivation of a variety of crops, including bananas, sugarcane and passion fruit. Following some of these water channels, I headed towards my next destination, Hisku Waterfall. The hike allows you to enjoy stunning views of the valley and several beautiful waterfalls along the way. It's quite hot outside, but I'm walking through this uh, forest corridors right now, surrounded by trees and uh, also, the water is coming from the mountain, it's ice cold and it gives that uh, nice breathe, makes the walk very pleasant. Um, and as a bonus, you have, you're surrounded with nice hills all over, uh, filled with greenery, so a uh, very nice walk. It is worth noting that some parts of the trail get a bit challenging, especially after a rainy day, but local authorities do a great job by paving the trail tracks using a rock chipped directly from the mountain along the way. I must say Madeira makes you work for it, but the views are incredible. Wow, Madeira definitely makes you work for it. Um, 
I was hesitant uh, in terms of whether I should be doing it or not uh, because the hike itself is about uh, four kilometers one way uh, so altogether probably seven eight kilometers and uh, takes about two hours on the way there you going downhill and it's nice and breathy and uh, you enjoying yourself enjoying the views on the way back it's kind of hard because you walking uh, uphill and uh, especially on a hot day like that uh, can be a bit challenging but having said all that seeing the final point the the waterfall with the ravine and uh, the mountains the greenery that view definitely worth uh, your time and your efforts. I strongly recommend you go visit and I am very happy I actually end up going. Uh, it's been very satisfying. But having said that, I have one more place planned and uh, it's uh, a bit south of here. Uh, again, it's a bit it's in the middle of the island so I am going to go right now and hopefully uh, I got there in time The formation of Madeira began millions of years ago. The island is almost wholly composed of basaltic rocks, which rise up to 1900 meters above the sea level, with its highest mountain of Pico Tuivo. Constant volcanic activities have shaped the island into what it is today, a natural phenomena with high cliffs and deep valleys. After seeing an incredible Husku waterfall, there was one more stop for me to make. To be quite honest with you, during my whole trip I was waiting for this day to come the day when I got to experience Madeira's mighty mountain peaks. The trail from Pico do Arieiro to Madeira's highest point Pico Ruivo is arguably one of the most picturesque hikes in the world. It is about 11 kilometers long and sometimes could get a bit challenging as it passes through tunnels, cross ridges and has a lot of steps to climb. I have arrived to my starting point in the afternoon and filled with excitement began my journey through Madeira's majestic mountains. So I've been walking for about 35 to 40 minutes and at some point the trail, uh, the trail has ended so I'm not sure if I made the wrong turn or yeah probably I made the wrong turn so honestly I don't care because this is this is the moment where you know how they say drop the map and just get lost explore this is kind of what happened to me right now and uh, I love every single second of it. The views here are out of this world. I'm enjoying every single second of it and just being here, just walking those 30 minutes uh, has paid for all the costs, all the hustles uh, just to experience this. I keep, I'm gonna keep walking towards the, the, mount, the, the peak of the mountain and hopefully the weather stays good and I, I'm able to see even better views. Holy smokes. Over an hour. But I think I found it. I made it. I think this might be the most incredible view that I ever seen in my life and I'm not even exaggerating. Check this out.
only makes sense to end my journey through the island of Madeira at this point on top of the mountain with the incredible views during the sunset. Madeira has been beautiful, motivational and very inspiring journey for me. It is crazy to think that thousands and thousands of years ago all this did not exist and uh, just a single uh, volcanic explosion in the middle of Atlantic Ocean created all this scenery. Traveling uh, through the island of Madeira, I've seen a lot of places that uh, left me speechless and this one definitely one of those. The only thing that I would like to add is this is why I travel. This is why I'm so blessed to come and see this with my own eyes to register this incredible beauty for the rest of my life. I'm very grateful for the people of Madeira, for the, for the island and for the nature and the, for the places like this that are still left unexploited, untouched by people. The places like this that you can come and reconnect with the nature and recharge the batteries. Absolutely amazing. Stay adventurous, stay safe, and stay loud. I gotta find my way out, and I'll see you next.